everyone, Draco Magnus here for another bonus episode of Let's Play Nino Kuni. In the last bonus episode, we took on some more of the Conductor's Rift monsters, but it turns out there was one or may possibly more left. In this episode, we're going to do that, but first, you might be wondering, why are you at the Solosseum? Well, you see, I just recorded the last mini game, which was the Solosseum Rank S. And I got a very special ticket for a very special familiar. Allow me to show you the entry for it in the book before I go and get it. That's what I would have said if I had the page for it. I guess I don't have it until I redeem the ticket. So uh, let's go redeem that ticket. Ah, so you lot are here to compete in the Solosseum series, are you? Just finished it. You were there. Do you already forget? Or have you by some miracle managed to get your hands on a familiar ticket? I've gotten them before. You can exchange them for super mega ultra rare familiars. I'm aware, thanks. Well, while we're in the neighborhood, let's get the Sap Dragon. Sap Dragon's familiar. Let's see, what do we got? That's just lazy. What are you going to name your Sap Dragon? Sap Dragon? <sighs> Lame. What else you got? Sappy. Sap. Sapper. Wow. Okay, um, I guess I'll have to come up with a name. Hmm. To be fair, I've kind of been leaning on these suggestions a bit too much throughout this entire series instead of coming up with my own names. Hmm. How about... Ah, I think I got Say one. hello to Snappy D! Get it? Like, Snapdragon, which is a type of flower. Alright. Snappy D is now familiar. Our familiar, anyway. <laughs> I'm sure you and your new friend are going to get along famously. You don't mind being bitten, right? Alright. Actually, no. Let's redeem the other one. The one that I got from the S rank. The Mandragora. Mandragora will now become your familiar. Please enter a name. You got Mandy, Manny, Gore, Andrew. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? You, you look like a Manny to me. Manny is now your familiar. And we've obtained a page describing the Mandragora, so now I can get to that entry. Before we do that, though, I would like to look over our two new familiars, see what their equipment are. Let's see. Snappy D uses swords. I'll give him a celestial sword. Why not? He wears clothes. So I'll give him the sorceress's robes, because that's the best one. And he uses patches. And I don't really have anything good. Let's see. Um, I guess I'll give him the Avengers for now. All right, what does a Mandragora use? Manny here. Oh, he's got a similar setup to uh, Deku. Except instead of... No, no, he uses scales too. All right, let's see what we got here. I guess I'll give him the Enigma armor, because that's the strongest one here. I don't know what you have in the way of uh, abilities, so I guess I'll give you the Stalwart scale. Oh, and he uses metals. He's one of the rare familiars that do that. Huh. I could make him immune to ailments. I could give him more attack, because he's definitely tanky. Or I could give him attack and defense and movement speed. You know what? What the hell? Let's give him that. All right, Manny. Okay, now we're going to look at that page entry. Which, actually, no, we're not. Because I'm going to show you. With that page, we have the entire Wizard's Companion complete. I have all the hidden treasures found. I have rank S in the Solosseum. And we're almost done with the tasks that we have left. 97%. We're almost at 100% completion. This is either going to be the last bonus episode or the one after this is going to be the last bonus episode. We'll have to see. But now, with all that said and done, let's finally get to the Mandragora's page, shall we? Ladies and gentlemen, Mandragora is the only familiar 
in the Nobila family that we can actually obtain. So let's zoom in to get a better look. Come on, there we go. Mandragora. Frost-loving creatures that have been observed gulping down whole icebergs in seconds. The ice they consume remains frozen within their stomachs, giving their bodies a heft that is of great use during battle. They have no weaknesses nor resistances. They are born under the planet sign. It is unknown where to find them because they're only found by beating rank S. Their items are dropped for previous reasons, and the only trick they seem to know, even though they eat ice, is Flame Fan. But without further ado, let's move on to what the Mandragora can evolve into. Mandragora's first form is the Pandragora. Let's zoom in a little bit more. There we go, that's better. Pandragora. Though selfish and ill-tempered, Pandragoras are surprisingly kind towards their minions, and are always willing to do battle in order to protect them. Like the previous form, no weaknesses nor resistances. It is born under the planet sign, unknown where to find it, unknown what they drop, but they know Restorer Aura and more. Wow, they really want to chint us out on knowing what it has. Hmm. Anyway, Pandragora can evolve into the Mendragora. Though their tears are known to have a healing effect, the selfish nature of Mandragoras means they will never share any of them. Like the previous form, no weaknesses or resistances, born under the planet sign, unknown where to find, unknown what drop, but they know. Upsy daisy, light fantastic, and more. And Pandragora could also evolve into the Tundragora. These gluttonous creatures comb beaches in search of things to eat. They are known to become violent when hungry, so it's better to avoid them at such times. Like every single other form, no weakness resistance, born under planet sign, unknown where to find, unknown what they drop, but they know slowpoke, wallop, and more. Okay, so regarding to the final evolu la, evolutions of the this familiar, la, if I could get words out, I'd say Mendragor is probably your better bet because it knows Light Fantastic, which is a really powerful familiar light move. And there aren't many familiars that know it. It also knows Upsy Daisy, which can be useful, and it might have other moves. Tundragor, on the other hand, has Slowpoke, which slows things down, Wallop, which is only a physical attack, and who knows what else it has. But this is me just going off the basis of what I'm seeing here in this moment. I unfortunately don't remember the research I did because it was a long time ago, but since this is a post-game familiar, you can probably imagine that Mandragora here is a really powerful familiar. It's pretty defensive from what we saw in its stats. And uh, that's really all I have to say about it at the moment. Anyway, one last thing I did want to check. Slice and Dice, Rise and Shine, Healing Rain. Yep, that's Sleep. That's what I thought it was. Manny has so many, all of his slots open at the gate. And Flame Fan is just his uh, prerequisite. You can never get rid of it. Sends out Blazing Curtain of Flame that deals fire damage. Damn! 31 MP and it's a fan and jeez. That costs a lot of MP. It must be a strong move. Fortunately, his accuracy is currently one. And the other downside of using Manny since he's family Nobila, hold on, no one really has profinity with him. Proficiency. Proficiency is the word I meant to say. I made up a word just there. Fumble. Anyway, with all of that said and done, I think I'm going to go to Castaway Cove to check on the bounties to see where our new target is. Oh, I forgot one more thing about Manny. Since he's born under the planet sign, I think it's actually double planet. No, 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 it's planet. Since he's born under the planet side, the uh, sign affinities, there isn't really anything that can beat him except something born under the double planet sign, if I'm remembering my tree correctly. In all fairness, I have not paid attention to what types familiars were when I was fighting them based on their sign. I just kind of threw things out for elemental weakness, not on sign weakness. Which didn't seem to cause too much of a problem the entire game. Hmm. But anyway, being born under the planet side, 
means that it's effective against all of the signs, and it doesn't really take that much damage. However, Twin Planet can... Oh, no, wait. I'm sorry. It seems Planet can beat Twin Planet. It's been a while since I've read this. <laughs> the Once Ring Planet stands apart from the three, while the Twice Ring Planet rules as king. Two Twin Planet can beat all of the other signs. But one ring planet, which is base planet, can beat twin ring. And I guess it's like neutral effect against all the other types. Okay. With all that said and done, I'm going to cut this here. Okay, here we are. Let's see. Bounty hunts. Reckless soldier in Nevermore. The path across the Miasma Marshes to Nevermore seems to be clear. Find out what's going on! Alright, let's take that. Now, with a name like Reckless Soldier, it makes me think that it's going to be... The Familiar of Shadar, which is bizarre, but okay. Well, uh, I guess I'll see you at Nevermore. Okay, I'm back. Uh, look who I bumped into on my way to uh, the Miasma Marshes. I don't know if she's been here this entire time, but this is just the first time I've noticed her. Or if we talked to her before. But I know we talked to her in Hamlin to let her know that we got to Perdita. So let's talk to her now that she's actually here in Perdita. You know, I'd hate to leave something unsaid or undone, you know? I am glad to meet you once again. So this is the town of Perdita. Though my queen has already departed. I have been reunited with my beloved elf. He cannot see me, but I can be with him and watch over him. This is all I ask. Oh, well, I'm glad you're happy. Actually, you almost look human. Like, you don't look quite as ghostly as you did before. Maybe I'm imagining it, but she seemed to have, like, a bluish aura before. But now she just looks like any other person. I can hardly tell she's a ghost. But anyway, um, that aside, I'll meet you once we get to, uh, almost said Nazca. Once we get to, uh, Castle Nevermore. Or I'll meet you in the Miasma Marsh, because the conductor is just standing here, looking creepy. Hello again, conductor. Ah, oh, Oliver, we meet again! What's that you say? You're wondering why this lake has, hasn't returned to normal? Why, this isn't the same lake at all! And nor is the castle that lies beyond it. You look puzzled, and maybe a little befuddled. And more than that, bemused. Well, I recommend that you take a look for yourself. Okay. I guess now I'll see you at Castle Nevermore, now that we've gotten all of that out of the way. Okay, here we are, Shadar's throne room. I, I gotta say, going through the twisting staircase was horrible again, but, uh... We made it! Considering where we are, and the possible enemies this could be, I think light is just the best way to go. Nickers another one! That makes 14 by my count! Four flippin' teen! Man from marshes and nevermore are back to their horrible old selves and all! What the heck is going on? I don't know. But what I do know is that we can't run away from this. Accurate. Look out, Ollie boy! Huh. So it was as familiar. Weird. Anyway, you look like you could use a good Astra. Night Terror. I forget what the original name of this thing was. But I do know that I'm going to go over to Swain, and I'm going to have him take something from this before I forget about it. An evil eye. Good. Here goes nothing. Here goes. Right, and take this. Okay, six six one. 
And that's without Esther's magic buff, so I'm gonna do a test here. Not that. Or cry. If he doesn't do at least 661 with this, I'll stick to Astra. 740. Okay, this is more. More worth my time. Oh, God. I'm not taking that risk. Are you crazy? Yeah! Oh, and that was 750, and I didn't have the magic buff. So I'm going to try with a magic buff in a moment. There we go. Okay, Esther, it's time for you to give me a magic buff. Well, I suppose everyone gets a magic buff. I agree, that was very nice. Now, Astra magic buff, let's see. Do Does it beat 750? Yes, it does. Astra it is! Ah! Hold him back, guys! I'm still casting! That was nice. Well done. Now that I think about it, we only had the spell Mornstar when we did this fight originally, didn't we? So he gets to see the new and improved Oliver. Oh. Esther, I'm gonna need you to give me another buff. Oh god. Well, Esther's gonna take it to the face. Actually, you know what? Where is the Golden Glim? No! Man! I think, if I remember correctly, Esther's was a uh, heal everyone thing. I remember Swain is just to steal something, really. Well, since I am very hurt, time for a burger. As long as he's not doing Onslaught, I should be fine. Still? You know what? Sir Cora gets a finishing blow! My familiar's better than yours. Shadar from another universe, I think? Maybe? Anyway. How much... Wow. Damn. Look at it all. That's crazy amounts... Oh, and Yoshi's so close. Good gains. Ah, uh, Sakura, why you do this to me? And Gogo. -Go. Babs has some pretty good gains still. Tinny Tim's doing good. Alright, Spooky, that's... that's favorable. Okay, now to claim that reward. Oh, right. I have vacate. I don't need that magic circle thing anymore. 
BRB. All right, to change things up, I went to the fairy ground. Claim a bounty. Oh, I'm close to that 500,000. Looks like we've patched up the rifts that conductor character was on about, eh? We'd best let him know, innit? Alright, if he says again, oh, there's more, dude. I'm gonna be very irate. Well, not really, I'm just gonna be mildly annoyed. In all honesty. Alright, Mr. Conductor. We've beaten every rift monster. To date. In case you want to say, oh, nope, there's one more. I left some room open for you. It's time. It's time already. There's only one rift remaining. It is time to face that which you have faced before. I've been doing that this whole time. But I know what he means, I think. Let's see. How about Hamlin this time? All right, then. Was the last rift where I thought it was? Yep. Huh, Star Eater's Fang. Oh, it, it's not where I thought it was. Interesting. A new black orb has materialized, and it looks more ominous than before it. It must be investigated, and soon. Well then, I'll take that action. Part of me wants to fight... Queen Cassiopeia, the White Witch, and all of her forms with all of our like new weapons more leveled up to see how much easier it is. But another part of me thinks, is that really necessary? Hmm. And in all honesty, this creature, this rift at our memory can only be one of three things. It's either White Witch, White Witch Lion form, or the Zodiarchy. So let's see which one it is. All right, here we are. Before we go in, let's see what of the possible things we fought it could be. Wrong one. All right, and let's see what they are weak to. Nothing but resistant to physical. Nothing, nothing. Good, I'm glad we got that out of the way. And nothing, all right. Anyway, let's hop on in. Niggas, this doesn't look good, Ollie boy. Huh? But what's the matter, Mr. Drippy? I don't know exactly. I just got a bad feeling is all. Tingling the old lantern-like. That one's different from the other rifts, I'm telling you. There's something nasty lurking in there. Proper nasty. We're in for a battle and a half, or I ain't the Lord I Lord of the Fairies, which I am. Anyway, what's the plan, Ollie boy? We're going to grab it with both hands and jump in, if that's what we've been doing. Because I'm not really sure what we've been doing with these orbs. Have we been just touching them and then bang, they explode out and out comes a monster? Have we been jumping into them because they expand to a certain size? What, what, what is the deal? I, I guess we fight. We have to do something. That's brave you are. Nice one, Ollie boy. You've got some flipping bottle you have. Then again, you are the savior of our world. Now watch yourself. Here it comes. The Zodiac Angel. Well, um... And I don't think we have... Queen Cassiopeia's help. Esther, it's my turn. Which means this is not going to go well. Especially not if it uses chaos out the door. Why? Why? Why did you go straight for it? I got a feeling that this can only go horribly, horribly wrong. And that I'm going to need to do this in another episode. After training. Okay, no, that's fine. Just interrupt her. 
Did it heal from that? Okay, Oliver. I could try using, uh... What's it called? Cloud Burst to see if that'll nix it. I mean, it's a possibly chance, but... Because I do have Nyx, it's just not good. I can't use actual Nyx. I gotta use Cloud Burst. Please work. Well, it had no effect on uh, the eyes. I don't know if it, like, attempted to work on... Uh, Zodiac Angel. Oh, nope. Oh, good. I interrupted her chaos with my attack. That's one down. Good. I managed to fend in time. And down goes Esther again. Okay. Thank you for coming back. I appreciate it. Astra again, please. That's a good thing it missed. Ha! Interrupted your attack! Good, and there goes her annoying little things. Let's do... I don't think we're in that bad a shape right now. But those are definitely things to use. Oh hey, Zodi Archangel. How how do? As long as she doesn't have those satellites, she can't use chaos, so we have that at the very least. Ha ha! Oh no, that hurt. Exactly one. Early Buster. If you're wondering why I didn't just open up with Yoshi, it's because that would kind of be dumb. Because she has all the satellites out first. And when she has the Chaos, and I guess she can use Chaos without the satellites being there. When she, anyway, as I was saying, when she does have them out, I have to deal with them, too. If I just had Yoshi out, then... Oh. Well, please don't kill me with that gaze thing. I still have no idea what that does, and this is the second time I'm technically fighting you. Whoop. Oh, they're back. Hang on. What's it called now? Dominion E? Okay, Dominion. That's the name of this thing. Oh, there's only one? Well, I might as well just fight that with Yoshi at least. But hey, I did damage to that too. Oh, that was just a size. Never mind. You. You look like you could use your belly busted. What is it? Oh god, it's chaos! Oh, I'm gonna take the full hit on this one. Oh boy, this is gonna suck. Please don't all die. And now there's more of them. Okay, yeah, it's time for more Astra. And it's also time for the thing I wasn't gonna use till now. This is a super extra special boss. This is where we do that. Still have no idea what that does. I guess it must lower stats from what I'm seeing there. Okay, good. Someone got the AoE out. Time for my AoE. Oh, also all that attack would probably be the ideal thing to do here, guys. Come on. 
I guess what Chaos does is it creates more of these satellites. Well, Dominion, excuse me, I keep forgetting that's its name. Spells. Astra. Swain is not doing too hot. Someone should heal him, Esther! But I might heal him myself, because, I mean, she's not going to do it, I'm going to do it. Why does Esther feel the need to Donald Duck it up in here? Oh god, more chaos! Wait, what? Alright, I forgot you even had that. Is my defense done? Okay, good, no, I'm still in defense. Well, there goes Swain. But hey, it's fine, because I still have plenty of Phoenix Feathers! I came in prepped. Esther, did you just heal yourself? That was a bit selfish of you. Alright, I think we're good. They're far enough away I can get an Astra out. So long as she doesn't ignore my piercing gaze. Okay, this is fine. I still got the pierce er the Astra out, in spite of her piercing gaze. With her special eyes. And that should probably finish off the remaining Dominions. As thought. Oh wait, why am I going to spells? He's almost down anyway. You know what? You haven't gotten a time to shine here. Oh god, more chaos. Well, that'll wake her up. Oh, Jesus! Oh, well, thank you for the delayed tidy tears. I don't have a phoenix breath anymore, do I? I do have phoenix tears. I don't know if... Or I don't remember if they, uh... Heal everyone, though. Oh no, not piercing gaze again. Whatever shall I do? Restores consciousness and fully restores HP. Um, I'm gonna bring Esther back. Be nice to have a healer. I'm just gonna get the F out of dodge, though. And she, she took a full brunt on that one. Oh boy. Vision, Phoenix tier for Swain as well, so we have another DPS. Eventually, Esther's going to be back. There! Ah! Angelus, you're up. Aw, oh, man! She interrupted my piercing fangs! Gonna get out of the way of that sigh, because I'm not an idiot. You know what? Oh, never mind. Hake 7 got the final blow. But hey, at least I got to use Angelus. And she did some decent damage while she was out. That could have been really ugly with chaos on the horizon. Oh hey, and now that we've beaten the final secret sub-boss, Yoshi is now level 24. So let's see what he gets. Really good gains. Boulder. Hmm. Huge rock is rolled at a single enemy. Goodbye, Rolling Stone. And I'm probably going to replace uh, Belly Burst that. See how much damage that does. Hmm. Bounty Hunt's completed. Time to travel back to turn in that bounty. But you know what? We've been to every single place on the map at least once for these. How about we go to Yule? Round it up, huh? You know what's funny? I... I made this the last place we'd go to for our final bounty hunt. And... It's actually winter right now when I'm recording this. Funny how that worked out. I honestly didn't even try for it. Hmm. Well, let's take this, uh... 
Why isn't it letting me to- oh. Because that was the wrong section, derp. I tried to take the bounty hunt I already completed. Wow. Okay. Well then. Looks like we patched up all the rifts that Conductor character was on about, eh? That'll be the end of it then, I suppose. Best we'd let him know, and it... Yeah, but uh, first I'm checking out this brand new thing. 1015. The darkly glowing fang of a legendary beast that was said to have feasted upon the stars. Creepy. Alright, so... I lose... Two points in attack, 12, so 14 points total for a gain of three. That is not worth it at all, which is a damn shame because that looked pretty cool. But turns out my Nick Snatchers are just better. Anyone else need a fang? Oh, oh, I have two Harrow Fangs on some of his familiars. Huh. You know what? Why don't I give you the Star Eater Fang, Spooky? You could use it. You could put it to good use. I guess I'm fine with you keeping that one. What about Worm Fang? Oh. Well, hell. Worm Fang would just be all around better for you, wouldn't it? Because that's just 8-8 eight, eight and poison. I mean, it technically... Babs technically has fire resistance, so the fire resistance on this ring isn't really useful, but... Those gains are, so I'll give you that. Anyone else use fangs I could give a harrow fang to? No? No, we're good? Well, all right then. With all that said and done, let's go back to the conductor, shall we? You know, ladies and gentlemen, a thought just occurred to me. This tree looks really interesting. And I don't remember if we ever covered in the lessons, but there's one thing in the familiar section that I never quite covered. Let's take a look at that, shall we? Legendary Beasts number 14. The Shining Tree. A legendary tree said to grant the world protection. The legends of a certain village mentions a curious and ancient tree. This tree is said to have shone brightly since time immemorial, conferring protection upon every part of our world, and all who live within it. Investigating this legend is forbidden, however, for it is believed to incur the wrath of the gods. Of course, there will always be those who do not heed such warnings. Indeed, some years ago, one bold adventurer claimed to have learned of the tree's location, and declared his intention to travel there and bring back a leaf as proof of his discovery. At the time of going to print, he has yet to return. Interesting. Hmm. Well, this tree doesn't look like it's shining, but it's certainly interesting. Well, anyway, let's talk to the conductor, shall we? I wanted to get that out of the way, at the very least, before we ended the series indefinitely. Congratulations, Oliver! All the rifts have been sealed. Of course they have, Mon. Ollie boy eats monsters like that for breakfast. But those monsters... You'd seen them before, hadn't you? Uh... But they're really not the same as the ones you fought before. Truth be told, they're not even of this world. Which is why they've attracted the attention of the Guardian of Worlds. The Guardian of Worlds? He's the one who controls this world, and your world, and every world, in fact. If there are monsters from another world turning up in the rifts in this one, well, he's not going to turn a blind eye to that. That's why I kept this door shut, you see. I didn't want him to get involved. So, the Guardian of Worlds is behind this door? That's right. That's the door to the Grand Confluence, where all worlds meet, and all souls are want all souls are want to gather. It's also the home to the recently awoken Guardian of Worlds. Okay, got that. So this Guardian of Worlds fellow has woken up. 
what'll happen exactly? Oh, no, 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 no. It's not that. Nothing bad will happen. The Guardian and the worlds he controls are one and the same, you see. Hang on a minute. <sighs> what lies behind that door exists only to satisfy your curiosity. I very much doubt your actions in there will have any consequences. Although, they might. As might doing nothing. Just, I just don't know. I suppose the question is, Oliver, are you curious? If you are, I'll open the door for you. Well then, with all that said and done, ladies and gentlemen, I think we'll follow the rabbit down the rabbit hole next episode. I'll see you guys then.